The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black Innovative woman. Innovative nursing services in a non-traditional setting. You know, something like home care, or community practice, political or legal arenas. This award is sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield and presenting the award for excellence in nursing in the community, Dr. James Grant, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer, welcome. And the winner is Calandra Green from Oakland County Health Division. Calandra's a community lifeline. She manages, get this, 68 nurses remotely and is available 24 seven for solving problems. Partnering with community leaders in Pontiac, Calandra took on the challenge to get 1,000 vaccines in arms in the Pontiac community in just four days. She has been driven to educate and vaccinate her community and to save lives. Take a listen. Thank you, Dean Didion, Oakland University Selection Committee, Board of Visitors, donors, and sponsors for your continued enthusiasm to host the Nightingale Awards and recognize nursing excellence. I would also like to thank Oakland County Board of Commissioners, Mr. David Coulter and his entire executive team, and Leanne Stafford, Director of Health and Human Services, for providing the support and foundation in developing the COVID School Nurse Initiative. A special thanks to school nurse Julie Knopp for this nomination, support staff, and all 68 nurses who pooled their unlimited talents of critical thinking, client advocacy, and servant leadership that gave our initiative life. Thank you to my family for your continued support and encouragement. COVID aimed to conquer, destroy, separate, and limit our families, our coworkers, our business relationships. But today, nurses, we stand strong, we stand united, we stand undefeated in our pursuance of health and well being. I celebrate this honor with each and every one of you. Thank you. Join me in congratulating Calandra Green. She's beaming. <laughs> Thank you, Calandra, for all that you do. Hello, everyone. It's Queen V, and I'm back to you with another video. This video pertains to the unfortunate unaliving of Dr. Calandria Letitia Green, who was not only a mother, but she was a daughter, sibling, wife, and the health officer of the Oakland County Health Division. She became the first African-American to hold that position last year. In addition, Dr. Green was awarded the Nightingale Award for nursing in the community back in 2021. In addition, Dr. Green organized a mental health response to the Oxford School District following the mass shooting that occurred at one of its local high schools. In addition, during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Green trained and deployed over 65 plus nurses to 28 public schools and 125 private and charter schools to ensure that persons were getting their vaccines and care. So it came as a surprise when reports surfaced of her unaliving due to her husband, Charles Quincy Green Sr. Officials can confirm that Dr. Green's unaliving was due to a homicide, while her husband's unaliving 
is due to a self-inflicted wound. According to reports, deputies were sent to the Green's residence on Thursday, May 11th for a welfare check. Family members and co-workers alike stated that they could not get a hold of Dr. Green after she did not show up for an appointment. When authorities arrived at the Green's residence, they found Dr. Green's body on the floor of the living room with her back against the couch while her husband, Green, was nearby. A weapon was found at the home and officials announced that Dr. Green's unaliving has been ruled as a homicide while her spouse Green's unaliving has been ruled as a self inflicted unaliving. The Oakland County Sheriff released a statement stating a terrible and tragic situation that we seem to see more often these days. It's hard to understand how someone who professes his love for another person can at some point commit such violence on them. Our prayers are with all those affected by this horrific loss. Authorities have not determined a motive for this unaliving and the case remains under investigation. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with my commentary. It's not the type of statement Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter thought he would ever have to make. Dr. Calander Green, who is our health officer here in Oakland County, uh, is deceased. It appears to have been a murder-suicide. A tragedy allegedly committed by someone she took a vow to love and cherish. You know, she was recently married within the last couple of years. She was still practically a newlywed. And from, from what we knew of Calandra, uh, she was still a happy bride. A devoted wife, mother, and stepmother, Calandra was also devoted to her work, making history as the first person of color to hold her current position. One of the things her staff always told me is that they don't think she ever takes a day off. So they knew something was wrong when Calandra did not show up for work on Thursday. That's when Calandra's mom was notified. She went over to her daughter's Pontiac home and knew something was wrong. The sheriff's department was called in and found Calandra and her husband were fatally shot. The medical examiner calling Calandra's death a homicide and her husband Charles Green's death a suicide. Definitely shocking because they're right diagonal from us in our backyards. The fact that she was murdered uh, frankly leaves me really angry uh, on top of the grief and the sadness and the shock that I feel. Two clinics were closed Friday so staff could grieve. Coulter says no one saw this coming. Uh, there was there was no indication that there was any issues at home. Now the county is reflecting on all Calandra accomplished. That during the pandemic she really took the lead on standing up all of our uh, COVID testing and vaccine sites. She also organized mental health services for the Oxford community after the deadly school shooting and was passionate to making sure all of Oakland County got access to public health services. Her colleagues knew she had so much more to accomplish. The, the possibilities uh, based on her abilities were endless. During the press conference, I was asking the county executive how they plan to honor Dr. Green, and he says right now nothing is confirmed, but plans are in the works and that they will be special because that's what she was. And Waterford, Ingrid Kelly, Fox. I cannot begin to imagine the pain and grief that Dr. Green's family is feeling, her colleagues, and the community as a whole. I truly believe that Dr. Green's husband, Bud Minar, I'm going to say it one more time. I think Dr. Green's husband was Bud Mininar. Jealousy, it is a deadly, deadly disease. Dr. Green was revered, respected. Persons took 
her leadership seriously and recognized it time and time again. Dr. Green showed up for her community time and time again during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, showed up for her community after a mass shooting, showed up for clients on a daily basis and training nurses along the way. I think he could not handle the fact that persons respected Dr. Green. I wouldn't be surprised if Dr. Green and her husband were having an argument due to her success. There are persons who will literally court someone, date someone, marrying someone, and then ultimately unaliving that person because they envy that person's success. And if I've learned anything during the COVID-19 pandemic and currently, is you truly don't know what someone is going through behind closed doors. Dr. Green showed up for her family, her colleagues, and her community when they needed her the most. But it is unfortunate that Dr. Green could not reveal the pain that she was going through behind closed doors with her partner. Time and time again, we are seeing a dangerous trend in which Black women are falling victims to domestic violence due to a current or former partner. The silence has become the norm and our communities are being affected on a daily, weekly, monthly, and on a yearly basis. And I truly believe due to the pandemic, we have seen an increase in the unalivings of our sisters, our friends, our colleagues, our neighbors, our mothers, our aunties, because persons cannot understand boundaries or letting go of a relationship or persons being insecure due to their partner's success. Domestic violence does not only affect the victim, but it affects the persons around them during the unfortunate incident. And we must remember that domestic violence does not discriminate based on status, educational background, financial status, or marital status. Domestic violence, it's all about power and control and how I can make you feel small because I'm insecure with who I am as a person and I will try to diminish everything that you have accomplished along the way. Protecting black women should not only be a slogan, but it should be an active duty within our communities. I will leave in the description and comments below for organizations and hotlines as it pertains to domestic violence. While nothing will bring back Dr. Calandria Letitia Green, 
I want persons to understand that this unfortunate tragedy can occur to any one of us. And we must give each other grace and the space to tell each other if we are in harm's way. Protect black mothers, known and unknown. Say their names, known and unknown. Say her name, Dr. Calandria Letitia Green. And as always, please be safe out here, and I will see you in the next video.